Hi, welcome to my computer. This movie is about the modularity of savvy icons. We're gonna create another icon. But let's first take a look at our NeoFetch screen here. So one of the latest kernels, set as H, mate, compass, arc, flat tablet is dark. And we're gonna make a new Sardi Mint X Gray. So now it's all gray. So the, the X, the Mint X Gray folders, which look like this. This is the look of Mint X Gray. We gonna make of leaf the folders like it is, but take the icons in color, not in mono. That's what we're gonna do. All right. So first off, always the same thing. Control A, you delete everything and be sure to get the latest of the icons. You go to the Sardi uh, SourceForge or to one of my GitHubs and you download the script and you use it. So what does it do? It gets the latest version here. And when there are no servers, like you see, it's trying to find a server to respond. You just, just ignore it, double click it again and the next time you will find some kind of server that will give you the files. As we speak, of course, there is a problem. Run it. Third time is the charm. So now we have our icons. They have been downloaded as star GZ and have been un uh, compressed and now are in hidden folder icons. So now we can go ahead. This is the latest version of our Sardi icons. And this is the one we want to change. So all this is, is the folder of places. So the, the folders and so on. And we do not want them to be mono. We do like them to be in color. So what we do, three steps. We copy paste this one, which contains the folders. We rename the folder itself. It's going to be Sardi applications, Sardi icons, so Sardi Mint X Gray. If you rename the folder, you should also rename the index theme. In Mate, we can't just double click it, as you can see in other uh, distros you can, not in Mate. Still a bug to be solved. And we have here the Sublime Text, which Sublime Text will always work. The only thing you have to do is close all files. The only thing you have to do is just take it up and put it in here and that's how I do it and makes it makes my life easy. So the Sardi Mono is gone. We're going to inherit not from Mono but from Sardi itself so we can get rid of all this. So now we are telling the system control save. We're telling the system this is your name. And if you don't find a file in this folder here, then you go to the Sardi for all the rest of the icons. Done. Almost, phase three, you should create a new icon theme cache. So this one should go. And you should double click it, run in terminal. And now we have a new icon theme cache. And as of now, we can go to our theme manager, whatever distro you're on, and choose the icons you want. So Sardi, Mono, is going to be Sardi Mint X Gray. And let's have a look what the result is. We've made a new icon theme with the with modules of modularity with elements from Sardi. We can make a new kind of look, maybe the look we like more. So this is the movie to create Sardi Mint X Gray.